ITCS, the leader in artificial lift technology, presents Multi-Stage Plunger Lift. Plunger lift is a widely accepted form of artificial lift in wells producing primarily gas. With low equipment costs and an unrivaled rate of return on investment, plunger lift is an attractive and popular method of deliquefaction. It makes sense then that it would be beneficial to extend the applications of plunger lift. Multi-stage plunger lift represents the next evolution of plunger lift, making it a viable and cost-effective artificial lift method for a broader range of well production challenges. While conventional plunger lift requires large volumes of gas and proportionately lower liquid production, multi-stage plunger lift can be effective in wells nearing a one-to-one -one ratio of gas to liquid, such as gassy oil wells. These wells might typically be considered pump jack candidates, but multi-stage plunger lift is proving to be equally or more effective and at a fraction of the cost. And because it operates on the same basic principles as conventional plunger lift, multi-stage plunger lift offers many of the same benefits, including removing solids and preventing buildup, as well as offering low installation and operating costs. The installation process begins by shutting in the well. The bottom hole bumper spring is the first piece of equipment to be installed. It is lowered by wire line down the well bore and is seated in the seating nipple. The bottom plunger is dropped from the surface and lands at the bottom hole bumper spring. A pad plunger is shown here, but the type of plunger selected can vary based on well characteristics. Next, the multi-stage tool is set by wire line. Placement is typically at 40 to 70 percent of the depth of the well, again depending on the well's production characteristics. The top works is then set by wire line on top of the multi-stage tool. The top works functions like a bumper spring. It absorbs the impact of the top plunger as it lands at the tool during installation and subsequent cycles. Before installing the top plunger, it is advisable to cycle the well. This first cycle allows the bottom plunger to deliver liquids through the tool. The liquids cushion the impact of the top plunger and also prevent it from running dry on the next cycle. The well is shut in and the liquids are held above the tool with a one-way check valve as the top plunger is installed. After cycling the well to load fluids above the multi-stage tool, the top plunger is now dropped from the surface and lands at the tool. The lower plunger has dropped back to bottom. On the next and subsequent cycles, the bottom and top plungers cycle together. The lower plunger delivers more fluids from the well's bottom up to the tool, and the upper plunger delivers those fluids from the tool up to the sales line. The plungers rise and fall at slightly different rates depending upon where the tool is set and the well's liquid production but essentially they travel in tandem. By creating two plunger lift systems in one well, the multi-stage tool allows the well to produce liquid in stages. It is similar to a bucket brigade. The fluids are delivered up the well in smaller loads and more frequent trips, both of which require less energy. This allows the well to effectively and efficiently produce larger volumes of liquids, utilizing only its own energy to do so. Now that you understand its benefits and how it works, it's easy to see why multi-stage plunger lift is worth considering. At a fraction of the cost of a pumping unit, a multi-stage plunger lift system can increase production while lowering operating costs in wells with gas to liquid ratios nearing one to one, while also delivering all of the benefits of conventional plunger lift. To learn more about multi-stage plunger lift, the patented PCS multi-stage tool, or our complete lineup of well optimization products and services, please contact your local PCS representative or visit us online at www.pcslift.com.